Hi everyone. Okay, so if you didn't hear the uh, watch the first video, then uh, great, you missed out on a ton of rumbling. Um, but uh, welcome. I'll say welcome here now. If you um, if you're new, welcome. If you're new to my art, uh, welcome. If you're new to my website, and uh, a special heartfelt welcome to all my regular followers and students. And I'm so glad you joined me for this as well. So roll art decks. So obviously I'm t making a um, play on the words Rolodex uh, because it's about art. It's Rolodexing our art stuff and it's essentially a catalog cataloging system and my byline is fun and functional because it's fun because we're going to learn techniques, we're going to have a play, um, you know we get to dip in and play with our art supplies, maybe art supplies that we haven't seen in a while, we uh, get to do uh, old techniques, new techniques, um, you know, so it's fun because it's art, right? But the other 50% or maybe even more, but the other 50% is it's functional. And that this is just me 100%. I love my art and I love my organizing. And functional is really important once you've been doing art for a while, once you have a certain amount of supplies, once you've watched lots and lots of YouTube videos, once you've watched, uh, taken lots of classes or half taken them cl those classes, I see you. <laughs> um, once we've tried lots of techniques because that's what happens I think it's one of the things like um, in the first video I explained how Rolodex came to be but it, it was also propelled afterwards after I had the idea and I thought I was going to do it and probably share it one of the things that got me to really propelled me to share it with you is hearing so many people say they had they had like lots of i have probably taken three classes in the last three years um and one of them i haven't really done it's a, it's a sort of a long one and um it's very more beginner so i don't really do it um so probably two classes when i heard people had like 10 15 classes i couldn't believe it now i realize it's quite normal <laughs> but i also don't watch many youtube videos because I don't like being too influenced as an artist. I don't like being too influenced by anybody else. But I do love people. I do love watching people make art. And, you know, the occasional new technique. Yeah, that's fun. That's really cool. Uh, you know, I'm in my art practice all the time. So I don't look outside of myself too much or try not to. But it's difficult when I do want to support other artists as well, you know. But as students or, you know, even other artists, if you, you love looking at other people all the time, then it becomes overwhelming, right? Like, I just can't imagine having 15 classes that you've done in the last three years, another 15 that are waiting to be done, having watched, um, you know, have, following 200 art channels, watching um, Instagram reels with techniques all the time. Like, how do you remember it all? You just can't. And I've heard this... Um, People talking about overwhelm or, or forgetting things or um, ideas or techniques or anything like that. So that really propelled me as well. It's one of the things that I'm really passionate about in my art teaching is empowering others. Number one is empowering others to start, to give things a go, you know, not to be afraid of a page or uh, anything, anything arty or a technique or a supply, not to be afraid. So empowering in that way. And I realised that a second way of empowering people is to um, to collate, to simplify, to somehow bring um, order into this noise of tutorials and classes and information all the time, right? Like it's all well and good if you just watch it for fun and you just put it in the background while you do your own art or do or cook or something. That's fine, but if you actually want to learn, if you actually want to remember the technique that you saw three months ago, like it's just not possible, like, especially if you've got my memory, but you know, it's just not possible to remember unless you do that technique at the time or do it again and then it's just there, it's stuck in your head. Um, but even if something you have learned it and you can do it, once you have more and more techniques come along, more videos come along, they just push all that stuff to the side, to the back, right to the back, where you just forget about it. So here, there's Rolodex comes in. So the Rolodex system is about cataloging and recording everything arty, everything from supplies to techniques. 
to even classes, but we'll get into that. So it can be really, really small. It can be a pencil. It can be an entire course. That's how flexible it is and that's how amazing it is. And then you have a system where you don't have to remember all the techniques. You don't have to remember all the theory or the information. Like, have you watched a video on, say, for instance, um, how to use certain uh, a certain supply, any supply, um, and thought, oh, that's really cool. Oh, that's really, and, and you feel like you've learned it. Months later, come, 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 you know, sorry, months later, you're thinking, right, what was the supply that was right for this? It can be really frustrating or annoying or you try to go back, look for the video or how much time do you spend researching or really looking for something um, when you can just go to your Rolodex system. So you could have that indexed or dexed as I, I've, I've coined. <laughs> so we dex up our stuff. We have a system now, functional, that we can go and look up a technique, a supply, a course, right? All that sort of stuff, um, theory, information, anything, anything RT you can put on this and what i'm going to show you i'm going to take you through some stuff because once i sh show you the basic idea you can just go with it run with it do it your way um do it in your time whatever but obviously a workshop is fun right and it's motivating and it's inspiring i know that if i just saw somebody talk about this i would think oh that's quite cool i may not get around to doing it if I can follow someone or watch them do it, it, it would inspire me or motivate me. I go, oh, okay, that's actually really cool when I go look at it. So that's partly the workshop, right? And doing it week by week hopefully will keep you motivated. But hopefully, I empower you to carry on and do it and do it your um, and, and, and do it as part of your art practice, not just something on its own. This is something that sits along every single class you've taken and every single class you're going to take every single tutorial you've seen and every single tutorial you're going to see every time you see a fantastic technique on a youtube video you can put it on your index system um, and you can do it immediately or you can do it as a note but it still will be there right this is all things i'll get into don't worry but i'm just giving you the concept giving you the concept that everything rt can be indexed which is amazing and following the workshop will motivate you. It has motivated me. I know as much as I've wanted to do it, I've been really, it's one of those things I procrastinate in doing because there's so much else to do in, in, in art. But once I've started, I'm loving my Rolodex already. And there's not that much in it, um, but there's enough that I'm just thinking, this is so useful. I've been wanting to do this for so long. Um, just, you know, like supplies that I've wanted to do. So I'm thinking, oh, I'm so glad it's there now. Um, so it's super functional. You can just hit your roller decks and look for the thing that, you, you know, the technique that you want, and there it is. So I think that's it. I think that's it that I wanted to say. Um, oh, something I said in the first video, and I'll just reiterate, is that um, I absolutely believe in this. I think it's really simple, yet could revolutionise your art practice, because one, oh, that's the other thing. So one, we forget stuff. We're overwhelmed. We just can't remember everything. We can't put everything down immediately. Um, but the other thing is also we can get into a rut. Um, it's not even necessarily that you're in a rut necessarily, but um, maybe you just end up doing sort of the same thing over and over again, which is absolutely fine because that's how you find your style, what you love to do and what you what you turn to over and over. But sometimes you just maybe want to shake things up and your mind's a bit gone a bit blank like oh what, what should i do you know like it doesn't matter you've seen 500 amazing tutorials and, you, and your brain just can't pick up one right now so you just pick up the same paint and the same stencil and do the same thing right so it also works it's a catalog but it's also a prompter so you could just flick through your roller decks and find something go oh yes that's right so and not just in a prompt, not just from what you've seen, but also your own stuff. Like you must have done stuff in the past, like, um, which is why looking at old journals can be really inspiring because you think, oh yeah, I've never done that technique again. Why haven't I done that? I love that. Or a page quite like that. So it catalogues, you know, records um, and it prompts. It can prompt, you can use it as your own personal prompt, you know, because I don't work that great with prompts. Um, I think they're great challenges and prompts um, that we do on Instagram. You know, there's just so many of them now. Um, it, you can't keep up, right? 
and see overwhelm um and they're super fun and a lot of people find them useful because um you know they kind of get their own thing or it motivates them or whatever i'm just too i'm too much of a maverick to follow prompts or, or for too long i'll follow two out of a 30 day and that's it and then i'm done <laughs> but following my own prompter I can do it because these are techniques or supplies or anything that I love. You know, they might even be my own stuff, not just things that I've seen, right? So catalog, um, recording, um, which is sort of cataloging, um, and, and prompt. So it's fun and it's functional, super functional. But it's only ever going to work if you implement it. Follow along with me, give it a try, Get your rotary and look, you don't need a rotary assistant. That's the other thing I should talk about. I'll show you the rotary that I use because it's fairly inexpensive and I like it. I like the rotary system rather than um, the flat sort of system, right? However, don't let, let that stop you. If you can't find a rotary or it's not in your budget, don't let that stop you, please. Just any sort of card. You can even make your own cards out of junk cards, you know, anything at all. Um, and you can get yourself a little box, like a shoe box or anything like that, and have that your cards can sit in it quite nicely and do that. Don't procrastinate. I know, I see you, <laughs> because this is me, right? I'll procrastinate because I can't get quite the right tool or the quite the right thing or, okay? So don't, please. Get yourself some cards, some index cards, or make your own cards. And you can begin immediately. You can begin tomorrow. You can begin today um because yes what i was saying is that yes i uh, i absolutely believe in it um but you have to do it so get yourself some cards some cardboard anything at all um start with me start dexing if you get yourself a nice box later which you can decoupage yourself you can make it out of junk you can make it out of chipboard um there's all sorts of ways to do it you can buy a, a flat roller dex you can buy um this rotary system which is not a roller dex it's not a vintage roller dex at all um y there's so many fun ways that you can you can make it look and, and make it work you can get yourself a tin box you can get yourself some sort of like a tea caddy anything that your cards fit in nicely um, and make it nice and pretty and um fun and arty or vintagey or whatever your style is um, but that's the fun part of it. The functional part is just having the cards. Um, and once you start, once you start doing this, like I already am just amazed, like I said, um, and how happy I am. And I can't wait to deck. So there is so much. I mean, this is potentially never ending. So, yes, it, it has the potential to revolutionize your art practice if you do it. And once you start and you have it alongside everything else you do and you have it somewhere on your desk or table or wherever it, um, it, it works for you, um it is just it will it will revolutionize your art practice if you do it if you implement it with me so i invite you to do that i invite you to start this workshop with me to do it with me to show me your cards don't feel you have to show a beautiful rotary or anything like that because although it's fine and arty it's not about beauty it's not like like my iCaddy one um which is all really fun iCads it's um it's it's functional right so by all means um share in the community i will have a community space to do it or, or do it on instagram and tag me um you know just share your cards share your cards share your rotary system share your your indexing system whatever it is but 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 do it yeah just do it i think somebody has that slogan but i'm going to use it for now <laughs> Okay, that's enough from me. I think I've said everything. If I've forgotten something, I'll put it down in the text or something like that. Um, happy arty, my friends. Bye.